Hello Sigmas. In a previous video, we saw that the work done by a conservative force depends only upon its initial and final position. So I can write it in this manner from RA to RB would be equal to a function of uh, RB minus a function of RA. Now you might wonder why not a function of RA minus a function of RB. That is simply because RB is uh, the upper limit and RA is the lower limit. And since uh, a con this is the conservative force, F here is a conservative force. It only depends upon RB and RA and hence you are going to get an equation of this form. And in fact, let us call these functions F of uh, R equal to, now these are vectors, okay, they are going to depend upon the position vectors. So let us uh, define F of R equal to minus U of R uh, for historical reasons, right? Then this equation for the conservative force will look something like this. Now you might wonder why I have a sign this minus sign to it. I could simply call f of r equal to u of r, right? That would be clear in a moment. So keep watching. Here, this function uh, that we have defined is known as uh, the potential energy function. So this is known as the potential energy function. Now we also know that this is nothing but WBA, right? The work done by the particle in moving from A to B. That is also equal to the change in kinetic energy. That is its kinetic energy at B minus its kinetic energy at A. And if I call uh, U of RB as uh, UB and uh, U of RA as UA, then this would simply be equal to minus uh, UB plus ua and now what i can do is uh, take ub on this side and take ka on this side so that i will get kb plus ub is equal to ka plus ua now i want you to notice something very interesting this quantity as a whole which is the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy at Ra is equal to the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy at Rb and hence this quantity as a whole as you might have guessed is conserved in the language of physics you say that this quantity as a whole is conserved and hence it deserves a special name. We represent the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy as E where E is known as the mechanical energy of that body and hence this is our golden conservation principle this is the conservation of mechanical energy that eb that is the energy at b is equal to the energy at a in fact i should say mechanical energy and uh, in our previous videos we had observed that uh, the conservation of momentum had a similar form we had seen that uh, p of a was equal to p at b if the net force uh, or a net external force on a body is a zero. Similarly, over here, we can see that EB is equal to EA for a conservative force. In fact, this holds also for non-conservative forces, but that is for another video. And uh, in fact, I want you to notice uh, another interesting uh, thing. That is, let me write the equation again. Right? We had that uh, the closed uh, line integral of F dot dr was equal to ub ua minus ub and this went from ra to rb and now i want you to notice a very interesting thing what if the particle started at ra 
and it uh, went on uh, to take a very weird path and it returned back to I. That is, what is the work done around a closed path for a conservative force? And uh, from here, you can easily see that for such a case, I will get UA and UB is the same point. That is, if initial and final points are the same, and hence you get UA minus UA, which is zero. And in fact, this integral for a closed path can be written something like this f dot dm this is known as a closed line integral which simply means an integral around a closed path now what if instead of one conservative force there are several conservative force acting on that particle for such a situation let's say uh, there was a conservative force one acting on the particle and uh, the potential energy due to that conservative force F1 was U1 and there was a conservative force 2 due to which the potential energy was U2. Then what we can do is just add up the potential energies. That is the total potential energy of a body would be the sum of the potential energies due to the individual forces on the part. That is pretty simple, right? And in fact, the force has a even deeper connection with potential energy but that is going to be the topic of my next video till then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you for watching